Hello people, now what I have in front of me is actually a part, I'm not talking about the base plate, ok, get rid of the base plate, actually no we can keep the base plate, but let me just make it smooth, uh, there we go, I actually have a part in front of me, if I highlight, here we go, there it is, um, look at that, look how tiny it is, now the actual size of the part is here we go, 0 by 0 by 0. It's a part that has no volume. OK. Now, how the heck has a size got no volume? I'll show you how to uh, how to make a size uh, part that is 0 by 0 by 0. OK. You can't actually, see, you can't even see it. Highlight it, look, it's there, but you can't see it. So, let me just delete it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a part now this actually has no purpose to it. There's, it's pretty useless to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway, just for just for fun, just so you can have a size zero by zero by zero part in Roblox. Right. First, you need to make a part, as I've done here. Make it as big as you can. Probably not as big as you can, because I haven't got the time. But just make it a big. See, look how big I made it. It's well that's that's big right now we've got the part here huge part you need to copy and paste okay that's going to take some time Crikey. now the part that you just copied and pasted make this as small as you can okay make it as small as you can look at that small small now in order to um, like some of your parts will be one by one by one make sure that the part has a form factor of custom okay because at the moment that's one by one by one and I can't make it any smaller but if it's custom form factor go to your properties make it custom make it so small there we go now just plop this at the top corner it could be anywhere you could put it anywhere you want just put it to make it more visible put it at the top corner here we go okay now normally Roblox would not let you make parts smaller than 0.2 by 0.2 by 0.2 okay so you can see in the properties 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. You can't make parts any smaller than that with the uh, scale tool. But if you click that block, hold Control and click the big brick as well, and then hit Control, Shift and G. So we're going to um, CSG the two parts together. Okay. So that's Control, Shift and G. If you don't want to do that, just click both of the blocks, right click and click Union. Uh, you can do that either way. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do uh, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to quickly separate those. I'm going to make the brick red. Okay, just so you can see it better. I'm going to click both of those parts, select both of those parts, and union. Right-click union, and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to rescale this union, make it as tiny as possible and then I'm going to hit F to zoom in on, on the part, here we go this grey block uh, is the is the big block and then you can't actually even see, you see we've now made the, the, the red block so small you can't even see it so if I click the block, right click, separate ok, one of those two parts is the red block here we go, there's the red block, I've just selected it inside explorer there's the red block, I'm going to move that up here Look at that. If you go to size, 0 by 0 by 0, you can't even see it. Look at that. It's tiny. Hold on. I'm going to keep clicking Control Z. I'm going to keep undoing this until I've got my union back. So keep clicking Control Z until you've got your union back. Now scale it back up a little bit. There we go. Scale it to that sort of size. Let's see if you can see the red block. Look at that. There, there it is. Look how tiny it is. Hold on. Let me just let me add my character into the game. There we go. Look at that. Look how tiny it is compared to my character. Now, yeah, this this video has you know has no no purpose, but it's just a yeah, it's just a fun thing to do. Look at it. Anyway, I thought I'd just make the video because it was a fun thing to do. Right, so you can play around with tiny tiny parts like this now. And now you know how to get parts smaller than 
size 0.2 by 0.2 by 0.2. So if I separate this, click the part, you see that? 0 0.016 by 0 0.016 by 0 0.016. Anyways, now you know how to do that.